Hello again everyone, welcome back. Well today I'm reviewing a cigar from one of my favorite boutique cigar companies, Vegas de Santiago. They are located in Costa Rica and they make some amazing cigars. Rudy Niejas is the proprietor there in Costa Rica where his son Mark has come out with his own line of Vegas de Santiago cigars uh, premium edition. And today we, we are reviewing one of those. This is the D8, and this is the President. Seven and a half by 54. A huge cigar. Look at it in my hand. Very weighty. Notice the unfinished foot. Where the uh, uh, tobacco is pretty much just folded over. Now, this is a large cigar comprised of the other wrapper is Habano 2000 Cloud Sun Grown from Ecuador. The binder is Habano from Ecuador and the filler is Habano from Costa Rica and they label it a secret. So I don't know much about it other than that. So that's what we're going to be having today and this should take us a while. So let's get started. All right. There we are again. Nice looking cigar. There's your band. Okay. Draws a little firm and that's to be somewhat expected in a cigar of this size. Notice we light this unfinished foot. There's a lot of tobacco there that has to burn off. The initial flavors are have a little cedar, a little cream. I'm going to let this large cigar sit for a minute and let's see how it settles down first. Well, I would say I'm about a half inch in and the, uh, the flavors have settled down somewhat. I'm getting cedar, a little cream to tone down the cedar, and coffee. Um, the pepper is decent, about average at this point. The finish is quite short right now and not a lot on the finish. Actually, it's uh, fluctuating between a little raw almond and cream and it's extremely light. So we're early. This is a very large cigar. So I expect it to make changes and uh, that's where we are at this early juncture. two, two and a half inches in, something like that, and uh, there is a little roasted almond, toasted almond, right on the front end of the bite, and it quickly gives way to the cedar and the cream notes and the coffee. The pepper, it now lingers somewhat on the finish, and the finish is one pretty much of cream. There are some signs of richness in the cedar on the initial spice. And I would call the cigar medium body that best right now. And it doesn't show signs of moving from that point. But we're early. Two and a half inches into a seven and a half inch cigar. So let's see what else lays out. I'm here at the band. And the toasted almond notes have filtered throughout the spice now so they mix well with the cedar cream and coffee the pepper is actually improved and the finish is still one of a cream so cigar has not made a lot of changes but that's where we are and uh, we have just a little more to go 
here at the band. I'll be, rem be removing it shortly, and more than likely I'll be coming back to wrap it up. Uh, tomorrow I will review the Petite Robusto side of this cigar. Uh, I have had some of these cigars previously, and they were much richer than this cigar. So let's see how the Petite Robusto fares, because a lot of times the shorter cigars have a little more flavor and richness. So that's to be seen. Right now, we're finishing up on this uh, President, and uh, it's going along nicely. Medium body still, so we have actually... cigar around two hours <clears throat> but um, the almond notes have pretty much disappeared there is a little richness that continues and the last two inches were the richest the cigar has been um, the cinnamon I mean excuse me the cedar and the light cream notes remain the pepper actually became above average um, the finish is pretty much still one of cream and there are a little cedar notes that creep over and the pepper is uh, lingering nicely so this cigar did not have the richness overall that I was looking for because uh, I've had other D8s and I found that to be true when you get to the longer Churchill size cigars they tend to lack some of the richness in some cases all in all it's been a good cigar it's just uh, the I'm Hopeful that the Petit Robusto may have more of those rich notes, and we'll find that out tomorrow. But in any case, we're judging this cigar. Uh, I found it to be enjoyable. That lack of richness, though, holds down my score. I'm giving it a score of 87. Good cigar, but not quite what I was hoping it would be. Nevertheless, the Vegas de San Diego D8, uh, President, excuse me, 87.